Nobel Prize winner Dmitry Muratov, a Russian journalist, spoke at BYU on the anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Alexa Elliott reports. On the anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, people flocked to hear Nobel Peace Prize winner Dmitry Muratov. Muratov won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2021 for his work to protect freedom of expression in Russia. He's the co-founder and editor-in-chief of the Russian newspaper Novaya Gazeta. Muratov and his journalists have spoken out against government corruption, military operations, and human rights violations in Russia. Там, где уничтожают прессу, значит готовят войну. He explained that many Russians support the Ukrainian war because of propaganda. Пропаганда нуждается в изучении, так же как вирус, так же как COVID, для того чтобы к ней был подобран антидот. According to Muratov, a Ukrainian child spent an average of 920 hours under bombs this year. For Niles Herod, this matter hits especially close to home. Herod served his mission in Russia. His mother is from Ukraine and he still has family there. Last year, he was FaceTiming his grandma and heard bombs going off in the background. Those first couple of months of not knowing if my grandma was going to live or not, my, my aunt, my cousins, and so forth, uh, was really hard. Herod and his friends have been fundraising to support a school for Ukrainian refugee children in Poland. Don't forget about Ukrainians because after a couple months of media reporting it, it just kind of died down and everyone kind of forgot about it. Um, but it's still going on. There's still people dying. In a world where people are exhausted from the news, Muratov encouraged people to promote freedom of expression. <laughs> Надо возвращать конкуренцию, надо возвращать свободные медиа, иначе будем платить за смерть. Reporting for the Universe in Cobo, I'm Alexa Elliott.